Hi, hello, it's Maria here. Thank you for joining me today on my YouTube channel. Uh, today I'm in my kitchen. So uh, I'm not normally in the kitchen, I'm usually in my attic studio, but I've been working on some pieces, larger pieces, and just busy trying to get them finished and um, getting very serious about it. And today it's a gorgeous day. And instead of just getting bogged down and staying at those big pieces and working on them, I just want to get the idea of play and experimentation back into my work and take a break today. But I'm going to do some um, acrylic paintings on paper and I've just primed this paper. I'll, I'll explain to you what I'm doing as we go on. And I just brought down a selection of acrylic paints in a little box and a few brushes and I have my water and on the kitchen table I'm just going to get going for half an hour or so and we'll see, I don't want to be precious about it, um, I don't even want to be realistic but if this is a lovely little exercise for loosening yourself up um, and we all get bogged down so it's good to have something to do when you're bogged down, when you don't want to go back and you're dis discouraged with your work and you want to get going again. Um, this is a very good way of loosening yourself up. So let's get started. So I'm just uh, getting started there on a sheet of um, its uh, ordinary paper that I, I just picked up. It's suitable, it was a sketch pad suitable for acrylic paint. And this whole painting is going to be in acrylic. So I just have a few paints, I have some water and that's all you need. I did prime this piece of paper, although I don't think you need to. If it is for acrylic paint, you don't need to prime it. But what I did was I just got um, an old pot of household emulsion paint and I gave it a coat of emulsion and it just gave me um, a better texture and it was more grittier and it just it's stronger, it makes the paper stronger and I just like the feel of it. You could prime it, you could put a coat of any kind of acrylic paint underneath your own paints or um, as I say you don't you don't need to prime it at all. You can just paint directly. Um, as you can see what I'm doing today I'm really this is really an exercise in loosening up. There is no real reason why I'm making all these shapes other than I just wanted to play around with making different kinds of marks. And I started with the cooler colours. I started with the blues and the greens and with cold colours. And then when I had those down, nearly all the page was covered with different marks. I decided to change and start putting down warmer colours. So you can see I'm coming in with a colour that I really love, which is pink. And yeah, it's just it was just very geometrical, very abstract in the beginning. Literally, I was just playing with shapes and I didn't have any idea in my mind what I wanted to paint other than I just wanted to relax and play and take a break from the other paintings that I was doing and just get loosen out and have some fun and I didn't care what the outcome was going to be and it's a really good approach to take if you're getting bogged down in your work or you're afraid to paint for whatever reason just do something abstract just paint squares and circles and put lines down and uh, and that's what i was doing but as i kept going um as you can see it's getting pinker <laughs> and that wasn't any decision i wasn't making any decisions i was just putting down the colors i wanted to put down so here i've taken out some water soluble markers um, so the reason I'm using water soluble is that they will, if I add water, they'll, um, they'll come off. They're dilutable by water, so they're not absolutely permanent. And I'm using a light green and again, I wasn't making any decisions. I wasn't using my logical brain. I was just scribbling. Basically, this is doodling. It purely is doodles and scribbles and playing around um, but I think as I was doodling you're beginning to see um, those kind of um, shapes that I'm doing look like leaves um, kind of oval shapes for me and as I looked at it 
as I was going through this process, obviously um, I'm beginning to think about flowers. Um, so flowers, obviously, they're just on my mind and I love painting flowers. So I'm continuing on with using the markers. I think I've just put them away there because I felt, yeah, there's a lot of scribbles on there. And now it's time to start painting again. So I'm putting some pale colours. I decided to go back into the paler colours, bring out some light and obviously I'm just going in to some of those little shapes that I made and colouring in between them. Sometimes I colour in between the lines that I've put down and then other times I make new shapes over the lines. I just ignore the lines and make new shapes. So still I'm just playing around. I, I'm not really 100% sure what way this painting is going to go yet. I'm just continuing to work, bringing in some yellows and some some whites. Sometimes it's good to paint around the edges. I had a lot of rectangular marks at the edges, so I'm just softening those up. And the whole thing is beginning to look more, you can see I'm putting in leaf shapes and it's beginning to look more organic. So yeah, it was just fun, it was just fun to play around with this, it was a very warm day and sometimes it, it's just nice to to paint somewhere else in the house and in the kitchen I can see there's a big window I can look out the back garden and I think the garden there are so many flowering trees not so much in our garden but in the garden behind our garden um, some absolutely magnificent flowering trees with um, red flowers and white flowers I don't even know the names of them so I was being inspired by just the beauty of nature and the garden that I can see outside. And I think I just always love to revert back to wildflowers and different types of foliage and those pink colours. I've been painting a lot of roses lately. And I just love those pink colours. So as the video rolls on, you'll see that I start bringing in the shapes of roses into this. And uh, I have it speeded up slightly. It just really took me about an hour, I think, in all to paint this painting. Um, if I had decided from the beginning that I was going to paint roses, it would have been faster. But I think at this point you can see the flower shapes are beginning, those big, um, circular flower shapes are begin beginning to come in. I'm putting them in in white and afterwards I go over them with the pink. Um, I used that, uh, the marker, but you could also use, and I did that just to play and I don't normally use markers in my paintings, but because I was just using acrylics um, and not oil, I knew that the marker, that the acrylic would just go over the marker. But at the same time, um, I'd recommend you use the paler colours in the markers because the markers do keep coming through. The felt pens, the, the, even when you paint over them, it's hard to get rid of them completely. Now, I liked the fact that the lines underneath and the underpainting and the marks that I had made were coming through for the most part but in places I wanted especially in the center of the roses I didn't want all those marks to be coming through so it took a few little coats of paint and extra lines uh, extra brush marks to get rid of some of those lines 
Um, you can also use, for mark making, you can also use colour, water soluble colouring pencils and there's various other things as well. Um, if you go to an art, art shop, you'll find there's lots of things you can use. Um, obviously you can use pencil, you can use charcoal, there's lots of things you can use to start your painting and to put down your drawing. So I have the uh, this uh, painting slightly speeded up so it'll just keep going so I'm going to just let you watch it now to the end and I hope you enjoy it don't forget to subscribe and share um, especially if you like it and I hope you do like it and if you have any other ideas or if there's something you don't understand uh, do put a question or a comment in and I'd be delighted to hear from you so thank you for watching and have a lovely day and hope you get painting and that you enjoy your own painting and that this inspires you somewhat. So talk to you soon and God bless. Bye bye.